let's say it's 1985. <laughs> And Fritz Von Erich approaches Jim about creating a new member of the Von Erichs. He puts Jim in charge of finding someone to portray Lance. Assuming Jim could not talk him out of this, what would Jim have looked for in the persona? Was Ricky Vaughn the best choice, or does Jim have other wrestlers who would have been a better option? (laughs) Billy Jack Haynes, in one of his wacky interviews, said Fritz wanted him to be Billy Von Erich. Were there rumors of this at the time? No, no, there weren't. There weren't any rumors of it because it never fucking happened. It was never a thought as far as I know or ever heard of. And, and, and he'd already been on magazine fucking covers. The thing they got hot at about Lance Von Erich is because he ended up telling people that he was a fake Von Erich. Uh, when they had to fallen out, uh, no, he probably wasn't the best choice. He's probably the only one they ever looked at to do it. They just, you know more than I do, Brian, but I didn't they find this fucking guy somewhere out there and, and, or he was a fan of the Von Erics anyway and got in contact with them and, and he had started wrestling, but hadn't been wrestling long. Well, the point is they, they tried to pull, put that over, right? It's interesting because Lance Von Erich debuts towards the end of 85. He had been Ricky Vaughn. He was from the Dallas area, which is the stupidest thing of it all. Because then people knew he wasn't really a Von Erich. Oh, yeah. He was, name, his name was Ricky Vaughn. He had wrestled in Portland. He was awful there. Even the fans thought he was awful there. <laughs> and then they brought him in as Lance. And you know what? He was over for a while as Lance because he had the look and he had the rub. And the interesting thing is they started talking about Cousin Lance around the time David died. Over a year before he actually appeared. That <laughs> Waldo as a son, Lance, who's coming. Which makes you think they were really searching for the right guy for a while. But other than that, eventually enough fans started whispering that Lance Von Erich was really Ricky Vaughn from Dallas, and then he defected. Well, yeah, and, and also, and what does that do to Billy Jack? Because his name was always going to be Lance for a year, and Billy Jack didn't come into the territory until fucking uh, well after that, right? Well, he said Billy was saying he would have been Billy Von Erich. Okay. Well, regardless, I don't think they're going to make Billy Jack one of the Von Erichs. And I've never thought of who else in wrestling to make a Von Erich because the question never came up, but there had to be somebody better at it. I mean, the kid was over just because they said, hey, he's a Von Erich. At, at that point, they could still do that. But it, uh, eh, nah, I'd, I think they could have found somebody if they'd have looked around in the business. If they just wanted to rename them, certainly more qualified than that kid. It would have been interesting if they brought someone in as... It would have been interesting if they brought someone in as Lance Von Erich, Waldo's son. But unlike Fritz's kids, he hadn't become an All-American. He was still German. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> they bring, that's Stephen Wright! <laughs> Steve Wright could have been the fucking, not the comedian, the wrestler, yeah, could have yeah. been the fucking Von Erich, and he could have come in and goddamn been speaking German and had been part of a fucking white supremacy party. <laughs> and then he could go to the fucking religious meetings with the Von Erichs. 